At 3.20 p.m., the San Antonio Police Department received a 911 call from a woman about a disturbance with a gun in a convenience store in San Antonio Lakewood Drive called The Pit Stop. San Antonio Police Department, this is Derek, I can help you. Hi, I was calling because I just left the store, The Pit Stop, and there was um, a few guys out there and one pulled out a gun and he was threatening the other guy that he was gonna shoot him and he was right in front of the store. So the store owner wanted me to call it in. He, he was on his bike and then he went up to the guy, the guy told him no, so then he went back to where he was but then pulled out a gun and said he was gonna shoot him. Okay, and so how many people did you see there total? Uh, one, two, three, four. Minimum four, it could be more. Okay. And the one that had the gun, what did he look like? He was, um, he had a, he was on a bicycle, he had a hat. Um, I'm not sure if he was white or Hispanic, you know. Minutes after receiving the call, Officer Hernandez was the first to be dispatched to the position where he found a man matching the description of the suspect riding a bike in Odessa Drive. Two forty on uh, Odessa, going southbound. There's a male on a bike. I'm gonna turn around and see. That might be him. The suspect was identified as 35-year-old Stephen Prim, an ex-felon with a heavy criminal record, with multiple felonies like armed robbery, evading arrest during a high-speed chase across two counties, and connections to gang-related violence, with six total arrests from 2012 to 2016. Officer Jesus Hernandez then continued following the suspect until they ended up on Stonely Drive, where the suspect took off on foot and tried to shake the police between houses. Crossing over Stonely. I'm gonna let him get away from the school. running uh, southbound towards the next street over. He's in the alleyway. Another officer named Darius Wilson Wayne, who has been with SAPD for one year, confronted the suspect in one of the house's backyard. But the suspect immediately took off running away until they ended up in Willenbrock Avenue where this happened. Hey man, come here. Come here. Officer Darius Wilson Wayne was shot twice in the lower extremities. 
On the other hand, Officer Jesus Hernandez rushed to the last known location of the suspect after he heard the gunshots and was led to a car wash just south of Wycliffe Drive. Stay back, stay back. He's in the alleyway. No. He's in an open field behind a car wash. He's got the gun in his hand. No, he's in an alleyway in an open field. has a gun in his hand. Did you go to the location? Give me an intersection. All right, he's running back. Stand by. Watch your strike. Two forty is down. He found the suspect hiding behind the office building and shot him dead. The suspect was unarmed at that moment because he tossed his gun on the roof of a nearby home. As for Officer Wilson Wayne, he was taken to the Brook Army Medical Center and has since been released and has recovered from his injuries, police said. And just like that, one of the craziest incidents caught on police camera ended. In the end, Stephen Prim's story serves as a painful reminder of how quickly things can go wrong, leaving behind questions and heartache for those who knew him.